What is going on guys? Ben Gulligan here coming back at you with another video and today we have the official God Squad debut debut into ranked seasons. Now I have to get a couple of things out of the way first because I know there are going to be a ton of questions, a ton of comments. Uh, I'm going to be straight up. I'm going to be real with you guys. In order to collect the entire live series collection, which is how you get Mickey Mantle, which is how you get Gary Sheffield, which is how you get Craig Biggio, costs about a thousand dollars. Now, um, thankfully you guys have put me in a position where this is my full-time job and this is a business expense for me. So I, I'm very lucky to be in this position. Not everyone can do this. And I, I feel very grateful that, uh, you guys find me entertaining enough to where you've hit that subscribe button and you leave comments and you watch my videos. It feels awesome, but it costs roughly a thousand dollars if you want to do this. Um, so it's very expensive. And if, if it's not your business, I don't know that I could recommend doing it. But thankfully, it is for me. Now that that's out of the way, um, we've got a great team here. And I'm going to be debuting the God Squad just to show you guys the sheer power and dominance that this team could potentially possess. What I will say, though, is that this is not what every ranked season's game is going to be. Now, I will break out the God Squad when we get into that World Series territory, probably. But I don't think it's going to be fun to just dominate people with the best team in the game. So after this video is over, I'm going to be going to mainly an all gold team and then work diamonds gradually into the lineup, debuting guys individually like Fernando Tatis Jr., like Labor Torres, like uh, Mickey Mantle, Gary Sheffield, perhaps like, you know, Ronald Acuna is on the bench. Some of these other guys that, you know, aren't just the entire God Squad. But for this video, we are going to be using the God Squad and behind the plate batting first. We have Craig Biggio batting second and playing left field. Mike Trout in center field. Switch hitter, Mickey Mantle, the Mick, the God. Batting cleanup and playing right field, we've got Gary Sheffield at third. I've got Nolan Arenado. He'll be batting sixth, though. Jason Giambi at fifth, playing first. Uh, at seventh, we've got Glaber Torres batting or playing second base, a secondary position. And then Fernando Tatis Jr. will be playing shortstop. We've got 91 Vlad, El Gary, Cody Bellinger, Mike Piazza, and Ronald Acuna coming off the bench. And for pitchers, I got 99 Corey Kluber from the 80 overall level up pack. You get a lot of XP and you can level up quite easily once you complete the collections. Also, have Jacob DeGrom, Max Scherzer, Nolan Ryan, and Garrett Cole in the bullpen. Got Roberto Osuna, Dan Plesak, Kirby Yates, Jason Isringhausen, Josh Hader, Cody Allen, and Billy Wagner. So a very, very good team, obviously. Um, this is my first game of ranked seasons. We'll be playing somebody who's also... Uh, higher because we got the huge rating mod but uh yeah as texas boy just pulls mike trout that is unbelievable but all right let's go ahead and hop into a game and see what this team can do hopefully uh hopefully it does pretty well i'm okay at the game i'm not amazing i don't want to start off with a w or a loss especially with this team so i would anticipate a lot of quits at the beginning hopefully we can get an actual game in uh we're playing a team that is uh yeah certainly not quite as good as ours of course Corey kluber on the mound we're facing Noah Syndergaard, who's got that really, really fast sinker, especially with that outlier quirk. Craig Biggio batting leadoff for him as well. Different versions, but Tommy Pham, Kevin Kiermaier, Josh Donaldson, Joey Votto, Andrelton Simmons, who only has 81 arm strength. They killed his arm strength. He's got one of the strongest arms in baseball. And this guy's 1-17. in Good Lord. All right, well, he, that just means he's due. That just means he's due. We're going to get crushed. He just quit right away. Um, I would have friendly quit him if he wanted to. That's how we get our first win. Kind of anticipated this would be a thing. That's why after this video, not going to be just playing with the full God Squad. Okay, here we go. Game number three attempt. Uh, and it's, it's bad. It's a bad team. <laughs> I've used Mike Trout before. I've used Gary Sheffield before. I've used Jason Giambi a little bit and Craig Biggio all on Battle Royale. I've used 88 Fernando Tatis a little bit. I know all those cards here, but a lot of these cards I haven't even tried. Like, I haven't tried Mickey Mantle yet. I'm very excited for that. And also, this guy's got a really bad team, too. If he requests a friendly, I guess I'll accept it. <laughs> but if he doesn't, we'll just play it out, which hopefully happens. All right, looks like we're going to get a game here. Hopefully, this guy doesn't crush me. It's on a very low difficulty uh, down here in early ranked seasons. I think it's on veteran. So... We could get crushed here with Corey Kluber, but that slurve is nasty, so maybe not. Probably going to look to utilize this slurve quite a bit, and I think we got it in a great spot. 
and he just manages to get a piece of that. It's going to be very difficult to not only get outs on veteran difficulty down here, an early all-star, but it's going to be very difficult to strike people out. Might see a lot of these super long at-bats where it's just foul after foul after foul and weak contact before he eventually gets a hold of one. But this is going to be a tough play for Fernando Tatis Jr. Makes it look easy with that speed and that arm. One away. I mean, he's very good at taking that sinker, to be fair, because that's a tough pitch for a lot of guys to lay off of, especially breaking in. So we just got to throw it for a strike. But his plate discipline seems to be okay. Uh, I'll give it to him on that one. But we'll see if this changeup gets him. Nope. Never really looked like a strike. If we throw that away, I think we can probably get a rollover or something like that. So we'll try that. And we get a swing and a miss on the changeup. Biggio goes down. And here's a very dangerous hitter, Aaron Judge. A lot of power. Don't really want to make a mistake. Two strikes. Burned a fastball right by him. Let's try to locate the cutter. He's been laying off on inside pitches. Might be able to throw this for a strike. Ooh. He recognized it. But we got Gary Sheffield in right field. Fielding that one. A lot of fields going on. And we are coming up to hit with the God Squad. Biggio, Trout, Mantle. Let's see what we can do. Biggio gets a little bit of that one. That one just foul. I was late on that. Oh, underneath it with Craig Biggio. Not by much, granted, if you look at the PCI feedback in the lower left, but a little bit underneath it. And that is a fly out to start things off here. Not ideal. But there's Trout. That one is laced. Not too far off that one either. Good, good. Line out there. It was raked 100 off the bat. But here's my first AB with Mickey Mantle. We'll see what we can do. Would love a hit. <laughs> Would love to get a hit here. We're hitting the ball hard. Just have not been rewarded as of yet. And I pull down underneath it with Mickey Mantle. What an awful inning. I'm clearly terrible. I swear, I'm the only one that could lose with this team. I don't know how I didn't get a hit in the first inning with either Shroud or Biggio. Completely missed with Mickey Mantle. So, I'm really frustrated because I wanted my numbers with him to be so good. And unfortunately, they're already tainted with an out. And it was one where I completely did everything wrong. I wasn't even close to it. I yanked down underneath it. And, uh, I hate that. As he lines out, screamer! But Nolan Arenado mans the hot corner and gets a hold of that one. Two away. I want to stop showing pitching highlights. I want to get some hitting up, but I'm not hitting. Good sinker. We're going to be all over that with Trout. Our outfield is so fast. I think Gary Sheffield eventually moves over to third in the God Squad, and we bring in a different outfielder. But for now, I wanted to give Arenado a shot, and we'll probably see him this inning. But here is Gary Sheffield. I'm feeling a home run. That is a nasty pitch. Probably could have gone after that, but oh, oh, there's no real reason to swing. Lace that one again. Perfect, perfect. We get the ground ball, and we are finally on base. Hopefully, this is the start of a rally. Giambino! Another line out. I was early on that. Really can't complain, but another one that was absolutely ripped. Oh, that one is roped with Nolan. I was so early. I just got to learn to sit back. It's tough to do it on these lower difficulties. Get into second, Nolan. He goes home. Would have been a close play at two. We have second and third, one out. And now Glaber Torres at the plate. This is my first at bat with him. And that was a very, very good pitch to swing at. But I popped that one up with Mantle earlier. So I'm just going to try and be a bit sent. Why am I swinging at that? That is so bad, man. That is so bad. 3-0 to Tatis. I have my pitcher spot up next. Hopefully he throws a strike here. I gotta let him go. And that one is over the head of the third baseman. That is gonna be a two RBI single for Fernando Tatis Jr. You gotta work around him right there. You can't even come near the strike zone 3-0. Kluber! That one's gonna be a base hit. Tatis has a ton of speed and Aaron Judge does not in right field. We're going to have Kluber at second, and Tatis is going to score all the way from first. 3 nothing. 
finally starting to hit a little bit here. And, uh, of course it's with guys that I don't really care if I hit with them or not. And underneath that with Biggio. Man, it's, it's so tough to swing and talk at the same time. I just gotta, I gotta be quiet and then I gotta swing and then talk after when I lace it. Oh my goodness, he's hanging pitches and I'm just missing them. That one is going to get down with Mike Trout. Aaron Judge dives, can't make the play. I'm just a little bit underneath it. Just a little bit. I want to start getting some perfect, perfect home runs. I know Mike Trout hits nukes. We'll see if Mickey Mantle can do something. Again, from the left side of the plate, obviously. And he's throwing that fastball down. I mean, I'm going to go down and get it. I promise you. Uh, maybe I don't, because it's now it's 0-2 to Mickey Mantle. That was a great pitch. There it is, Mickey Mantle, deep to right, it is crushed. 111 off the bat, two-run home run for Mickey Mantle in his debut. First time using him. And that is a bomb. 5-0 Oilers. Dude, it's this inside fastball. I just can't manage to square it up. It's like I'm hesitating too much. I'd rather be early on it and squaring it up rather than hesitating, moving my PCI, having good timing, but being off it and having these little weak flyouts. It's frustrating to not be as good as I want to be right now. There we go. Giambi. Don't make this play, Aaron Judge. Get up, ball. It is off the top of the wall. Jason Giambi's got second base. Not going to try for any more. Would love to get him to score. I'm feeling a mercy uh, at some point here early on. Arenado might be able to help with that. Went over and got it. A little bit underneath it, but that ball has some carry. And it is off the wall as well. Fortunately, it's only going to be a double. And uh, we can't score there with Jason Giambi. But we got some ducks on the pond for Glebay. Glaber Torres, throw me that fastball down and in. Goes away. All right, this is a three-run home run. You know what? I'll take a ground ball. I'll take the single. My timing's just a little bit off right now. Some of these hits are, are pretty lucky. It looks like he's probably going to leave at 6 nothing. Okay, so I thought he was going to quit. Turns out he did not. And that is a great slider. What the hell? No double plays here. Try to beat me with a fastball. He doesn't. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a double play probably. He got me. Oh, he only goes to one. He probably had Glaber at second base. We get a run across. Uh, I chased really, really badly there. I mean, that's not even close to the strike zone. And he got me swinging, really. Knuckle curve strikes me out in the dirt. I mean, that's the problem when I play with these really good teams, at least in the past, is I get really, really over-anxious at the plate, and I kind of forget my approach, and it causes me to swing at terrible pitches, and that leads to outs. Patience is the best way to be good at the game. If you want tips at the game other than have a god squad as Glaber makes an error. There goes the perfect game. But if you want tips on how to be good, be patient. Let them pitch to you. Uh, even if it's a strike, doesn't mean you have to swing. You just take for something that you like a little bit more. And we will try and get him to roll over on this cutter. Good spot for it. And that's exactly what we do. No one's going to go to two. And we got it. Looking for the mercy. Three runs away. Can probably do it this inning. And he's already going to go to the bullpen. Carl Edwards Jr. So we got a fastball, curveball, cutter they gave him. And a two-seamer. He did not have this many pitches last year. I think they gave him the cutter. Biggio. That one's going to get down. There we go. Nice piece of hitting. And I've accidentally check swung. <laughs> I mean, I'm all I'm all over it, and I just didn't hold X long enough. Rookie mistakes, but here is Mickey Mantle, and I just I just took it right down the middle. Um, I'm as confused as you are. I, I don't know what I'm doing up at the plate. I have at the best team in the game, and I'm just up here not even swinging. I don't I, again. I don't really know what I'm doing, and I've check swung again. Good lord, it's gonna be it's gonna be an out. And again, I'm all over it, and I'm accidentally check swinging. This is a great representation of my ability, clearly, as I am 
below average at the game, I would say, based on what I'm doing here. I mean, I'm striking out. I'm not even swinging. I'm check swinging into outs. I'm popping up. <laughs> I suck right now. I know it's my first game I've actually played of ranked seasons. But, oh my goodness. This is embarrassing. The biggest thing is just sitting back. Sitting back on these early difficulties. And finding something to drive. I mean, these are, these are pitches that I can't do much with. And I'm swinging at them anyway. I'm just... I'm too over eager to put up a bunch of runs for you guys. And uh, it's causing me to swing at bad pitches and not have good PCI placement or timing. Just early squared up on that one. So we're getting closer. That might be perfect, perfect. There we go. Perfect, perfect grounder with Jason Giambi. He's almost out at first base. Get down the line, Jason. Come on, Glaber. I'm underneath it. Barely, but still. Not a good start for me, man, with some of these cards. Like, I'm ruining my potential averages, and I do care. I don't know why, but I do. Works 3-0 again to Fernando Tatis Jr. Last time, he came in with a fastball. This time, it's a cutter, and I roll over 3-0 on, on ball four. Here's the thing, though. Corey Kluber's coming up next. I have no problem swinging away. Um, but it's just unfortunate that he couldn't really do anything there. As, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm struggling to hit right now. All right, I really need to put up some runs. He's bringing in Archie Bradley, four-seam knuckle curve, two-seam, and change-up. We got Corey Kluber. He's going to stay in for us. Let me know down in the comment section below, who do you think should stay in uh, for our next couple of debuts? Because, as I said, I'm not bringing out this full God Squad. We'll have some good players still. But uh, let me know who you want to see. Who's impressed you the most? Who do you like the most? Who do you want to see again? Mickey Mantle has a home run this game, but also some poor ABs from me. And I'm going to continue that trend. Like, the fact that I can get a hit on that is so stupid. But, uh, sometimes luck is better than skill, I guess. 3 0. We're going to steal with Biggio. Just catch him napping. And that 90 speed from the catcher spot is pretty lethal. Now I got 3 1 with Trout, runner in scoring position. I just can't sit back on it. There we go, Trout. Deep to left. It's a no-doubter. Two-run shot for Mike Trout. That ball was launched into orbit. Absolutely demolished. From the best live series car. The best player in baseball. And here's Mickey Mantle. And I'm underneath it. Got over-anxious there. After the home run, I got too excited. And I don't know what he's doing in the outfield. Mantle's on third. Jeez. Jesus. It's funny. Every time I get out is more and more of a disappointment. Because I know it's all my fault. Like, that right there. This dude threw a meatball knuckle curve, like, up and down the middle. And I just get over-anxious that I completely miss. It's uh, very annoying. Turn it. Giambi to second to Tatis. He's got an arm. And we got now double play. Way to roll him up. Another pitcher, Rob Nen. So we have to work uh, work with a four seam slider and splitter. And I just I chase that one. I've gotten so many lucky hits this game. Maybe not so many, but I've gotten certainly a few where I'm not even close to on. That's a four seamer down that I'm just so early on. And. Another which is kind of weird hit. Again, I just feel over anxious. I got to relax and just take a couple pitches and find out what this guy wants to do. Tatis, that one is roped. That's the left center field gap, and that is going to be your ball game. 10 0, mercy rule. Fernando Tatis ends it with the walk off. If I didn't mercy him, I would have been uh, very disappointed. I'm kind of annoyed it didn't happen earlier. Uh, I disappointed myself with my performance for sure. Shout out Matt Hughes uh, and GSP. I am not impressed by your performance. Uh, and I'm not impressed by mine. Like, I uh, I missed on pitches that I should have been all over. Corey Kluber, I was pretty good. I struck out, which was uh, super frustrating. We got a home run with Mickey Mantle, with Mike Trout. Didn't perform as well as I wanted, but 
we're going to figure it out. We're going to get better. And that's what the whole entire point of these uh, these gameplays are. So hopefully you guys in, uh, enjoyed. I said you guys very oddly. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And uh, subscribe if you're new. Like the video. Leave a comment. I know like people are going to be upset about me having a great team. But that is what it is. You can't worry about it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.